Welcome to the Marketing and Heart Podcast, a show for handmade sellers like yourself that's filled with tips and tricks to help you build a solid foundation for your business. I believe if you made it by hand that you should market it with heart. Now let's get on with the show. Well, hey there, and welcome back, podcast friends. This week, we're going to talk about 11 alternative websites like Etsy for handmade craft sellers. So let's get right to it. If you're a crafter, then you know that Etsy is a great place to sell your handmade goods. However, if you're looking for an alternative to Etsy, then you've come to the right place. With the recent price increases at Etsy, a lot of handmade sellers are looking for Etsy alternatives. The good news is there are plenty of other websites like Etsy out there that offer a similar experience. The biggest caveat, however, is that they don't have as large of a customer base, which inevitably means less traffic, which means you'll have to do most of the heavy lifting. But the more promotion these smaller venues receive from people like you and I, the quicker they can grow. In this episode, I'll go over 11 websites that are similar to Etsy that are perfect for selling handmade crafts online. So whether you're looking for a new platform to sell your products or you just want some inspiration, be sure to check these alternative websites. Without further ado, here are the top 11 websites like Etsy. 1. Handmade at Amazon Handmade at Amazon is a platform that allows artists to sell their handmade goods directly to Amazon customers. This platform is perfect for crafters who are looking to expand their reach and sell their products to a larger audience. And since Amazon is such a well-known and trusted brand, artists can be sure that they're reaching potential customers who are already interested in buying handmade goods. The downside to selling on Handmade at Amazon is that it can be difficult to stand out from other sellers on the platform. And because there are millions of products on Amazon, handmade sellers may have a hard time getting their products seen by potential customers. But if you're willing to put in the work, then Handmade at Amazon is a great platform for selling your handmade goods. In my own personal experience selling on Handmade at Amazon, it's definitely a platform I love. However, Amazon is a totally different ballgame than Etsy, and you'll have to be willing to accept some policies that you probably won't agree with. Selling on Handmade at Amazon can take some getting used to, especially the twice monthly payments and higher fees, but there is some serious money to be made, and I would always recommend handmade sellers to apply to sell here. All that said, if you are brand new to selling online, you may want to skip Amazon for a bit just so you can get some experience with what it's like to sell online. Amazon is not known to be forgiving when you violate their policies, and boy, are there many. So I do recommend that if you sell on handmade at Amazon that you make it your priority. Number two, Zip. It's not a handmade marketplace, but something else entirely. So what exactly is Zibit? This platform allows artists and entrepreneurs to sell their products across multiple sales channels, making it easy to track sales, stock levels, and inventory. Plus, Zibit integrates with all of your sales platforms so you have a clear overview of your business in one place. As a creative person, you may find that running an online e-commerce store is too time-consuming. Zibit allows you to manage all of your accounts in one place, making it easy to keep track of your products. You won't have to worry about checking different sites for updates or managing multiple accounts. Zipit does all of that for you. Whether you're just getting started with selling handmade crafts or you're a seasoned pro, Zipit is definitely worth checking out. Number three is Craft. iCraft is a website that focuses exclusively on handmade art, crafts, and fashion creations. They are one of the few places that value true artists and crafters and make it their mission to showcase their talents. If you want a marketplace to sell your crafts and handmade items that resembles Etsy in the good old days, here it is. There's a special section on the site listing all creators of handmade items. They also regularly feature sellers in their blog column and monthly newsletters. Keep in mind though, as is the case with most sites like Etsy, iCraft has less traffic than Etsy. It's definitely not a household name, but then again, neither is Etsy. iCraft does have lower transaction fees than Etsy. For handmade sellers, this is a big perk. They also offer the ability to set up a custom shop URL, which can help with branding and marketing your shop. Number four is Folksy. Unfortunately, Folksy is for UK residents only, but I sure wish they'd reconsider. Folksy has been assisting UK handmade sellers for over a decade. They provide a platform for handmade craft sellers to sell their products and have been a leading force in the UK craft movement. They offer a wide range of services to help their users be successful in the ever-changing industry, including tips and advice on how to start and grow a handmade business. 
Folksy is a great option for those looking for an alternative to Etsy. One of the best things about Folksy is that they truly are handmade only. This means no vintage and absolutely no reselling. Folksy is a handmade only marketplace that is passionate about craft. This means that they do not allow vintage items to be sold, nor do they permit reselling. There are six people who work at Folksy, three of whom are artists, designers, and makers themselves. They understand what it takes to sell online, and they are passionate about helping crafters to do the same. If you're in the UK and looking for an Etsy alternative that is focused on handmade items, then Folksy is definitely worth checking out. Number five is Aftra, which is only for USA-based sellers. Much like Folksy, Aftra is very supportive of their handmade seller community. At the time of this episode, they do not charge for listing fees and only charge for each transaction. This makes it very easy for new sellers to get started without having to worry about any upfront costs. Aftra does not allow the sale of goods where the seller had no role in its idea or creation, which means handmade only. Aftra does not allow the sale of goods where the seller had no role in its idea or creation, which means handmade only. The Aftra team patrols the site for non-handmade products as part of their work, but they rely on the public to help maintain its handmade-only policy as it expands. In my honest opinion, Etsy will never go back to the way it used to be. So if you want to have that experience again or for the first time, sign up to sell with smaller sites. You never know if it'll get huge one day. And if it does, you most definitely want to be one of the original sellers. Number, number six is Store Envy. While Store Envy isn't just for handmade sellers, it's been around for quite a while. Store Envy is a marketplace for indie sellers and shoppers, and is home to many a handmade seller looking to escape Etsy. On one side, indie store owners can run their online store on Store Envy, much like Etsy. These stores are customizable, and store owners have a free admin panel. On the other side, shoppers can find unique products directly from independent sellers. Unlike Etsy, Store Envy does have a monthly cost starting at $9.99 per month. They do have a free plan available, but I wouldn't recommend it as you will quickly outgrow it as it only allows up to 20 products. Number seven is Mercari or Mercury. I don't know how you say that. If you've never heard of Mercari before, you were in for a treat. At first glance, you wouldn't think you could sell handmade items there, but one look at search and you'll see there is an entire category for handmade. Heck yes, am I right? Known for being the place to sell all the junk you have no use for, this Marketplace app is super popular with Gen Z and has over 50 million downloads in the USA alone. But while it's the cool new kid on the block, keep these things in mind as you might not want to deal with them. Sellers won't be paid until the buyer has given a product rating. However, if the buyer does not rate the item, there is a built-in verification in the app to ensure that the sellers are compensated. Sounds pretty redundant to me, but hey, that's their business. You cannot create a fully branded business on Mercari. There are no shops. There are just product listings. It seems to work well for one-time sales, but it isn't the best way to grow your handmade brand name unless you provide marketing materials with your orders, which I hope you're doing anyways. There are no fees for using Mercari. If your item sells, you'll be charged a flat 10% fee. And after a sale, you have three days to ship your order. Number eight is Poshmark. Much like Mercari, Poshmark is another marketplace buying and selling app. Poshmark is mainly used for selling gently used clothes and accessories. However, you can also sell your handmade items. I find a lot of the times where a marketplace isn't known for being handmade, there is a great opportunity as a handmade seller to fill in the gap. Not everyone knows what Etsy is, and that's exactly why you want to be where your customers are. Are they on Poshmark? Maybe. As with other app-focused marketplaces, you'll have to look into their just a little quirky policies and the way they do things to see if you are a good fit. Because much like Mercari, you might not like how they run things. Or maybe it won't even work for your business because of how you operate, such as making only custom items, etc. Number nine, Craft is Art. Craft is Art is a lot like Store Envy with monthly payments and a storefront, though I'm not sure what their selling angle is. Handmade or not. Their policies say handmade and non-handmade items can be sold, but they advertise the site as an artisan marketplace. You be the judge. Regardless, they do have a free plan, though it lacks many of the most basic features you need to successfully and effortlessly sell your handmade products. 
On the other hand, craft art has many features that Etsy does not, such as an item importer, um, um, customer service, and a blog. Love it or hate it, Etsy does have many features we take for granted that other sites charge extra for. No, I am not knocking this site, but I am saying that everyone prefers different things, so this site might be what you're looking for. Number 10 is the Handmade Artist Shop. Out of this entire list, I have to say I personally think Handmade Artist Shop is a hidden gem. And I'll bet that maybe this is the best alternative to Etsy. The Handmade Artist Shop was actually made by... Artists, the site originally started as a way for members of a forum to sell their handmade goods, but now the doors are open to all handmade artists. And the best part, no listing or commission fees. You pay $5 a month, no resellers or mass produced items to try and compete with, and you can add as many products as you want, and they are all added to Google product search and the find. The Handmade Artist Shop mission statement is, our primary mission for the Handmade Artist Shop is to support handmade. There are so many mass-produced items out there that it often feels that the world has lost the respect for the small, independent merchant. It is so easy to go to one of these mega stores and get everything you want in one stop. Some of us think it's better to take some time and create something with our hands and our imaginations. Our goal is when you visit the Handmade Artist Shop, you will feel the passion and understand that we truly love and support handmade. As you can see, there are a lot of different websites out there that offer similar services to Etsy. But before you make the switch, it's important to do your research and figure out which site is best for you and your business. Each site has their own unique policies and selling features, so it's important to find the one that best fits your needs. And with that, I want to end this episode and place some emphasis on this one thing. Even though Etsy has raised their fees, and I'm sure they'll do it again in the future, I still believe it's the best place to sell your crafts online. Love it or hate it, they have the customer base all the other sites do not. If you compare apples to apples, you'll very quickly see just how good we have it on Etsy. But even with that said, I will always firmly believe that you should put your eggs into as many baskets as you manageably can. All right, see you again next week. Thank you so much for listening. If you're looking for more ways to grow your handmade biz, why not head over to my website at www.marketingandheart.com. See you there.